Hello, welcome to Epic Virtual Presentations. This is just the introduction. And in this introduction, I'm gonna lay out some ground rules. I'm gonna give you some insights. And the objective is for you to vastly improve your virtual instruction. And I think that this is gonna be a wonderful tool for you and your students are gonna benefit greatly from it. Welcome. Now you're probably wondering, what am I gonna to have to learn to put together an epic virtual presentation? What new tech tools am I gonna to have to master? And, and hopefully this puts you at ease. We're only gonna focus on three, PowerPoint, YouTube, and Edpuzzle. The last of which might be unfamiliar to you, but it won't be by the end of this, this program. Now I go on in the next slide a little bit about why PowerPoint. Just, just rest assured, like I'm a Google guy. I mean, most K-12 people are Google people. But I found with COVID that PowerPoint has some really unique features which lend themselves to creating wonderful virtual presentations. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go into that as the, as the program advances. Now you might be able to deliver uh, videos through your learning management system and if you can, that's great. But if you can't, YouTube is a wonderful delivery method that everyone is familiar with. And finally, when it comes to Edpuzzle, this is a tremendous delivery method as well because it's going to, it's going to introduce collaboration. You're gonna collaborate with your students. It's going to introduce accountability. This is a fantastic system and, and I put my hearty stamp of approval on it. So what's up with PowerPoint? Why is PowerPoint my platform of choice for virtual epic presentations? And, and I'm a Google guy. You know, I, I when I do in-person presentations, I just utilize Google Slides. Google Slides is easy, it's, it, it's fun, it, it gives you lots of options, it's attractive. I get why someone uses Google Slides. I haven't used PowerPoint in a long time, but when I was faced with this COVID challenge, what I found is that PowerPoint offers unique features for virtual presentations. And you're looking at one right now. I can easily insert my, my face <laughs> and my, my talking face into a virtual presentation. And that's important because your students haven't seen you. So seeing your face on their presentation gives them a, a connection to you that's missing in this virtual situation. So it's darn important to put your face in there, e even if you don't feel like you should be a contestant on The Bachelor, like, like I don't, uh, put your face on there. You know, get over your inhibitions and put your face on there. And PowerPoint makes that easy. Two other things about PowerPoint that I love, and it's why I chose it for this program, is it has a design feature where you put the stuff you want on a slide and it rearranges it in a very attractive way. But mostly it's because of the, the images, the use of images is, is so conducive on PowerPoint. Uh, they have this massive library that you can choose from. And if you're worried, if you're worried about attributions, when you borrow from the PowerPoint library, you're covered. And it also has the option of going online. Now, if you look up there at the image right above me, it says PowerPoint. I mean, right above my head, there's an attribution. PowerPoint generates this for you. So you can feel confident about the presentation that you're making, that you're not, you're not doing anything untoward. I just had to show you one more image. This is an image that I uh, used the insert tab and then sought an image online. And once again, uh, PowerPoint attributed that image. So, you know, you can see some of your students that, that like sports, they wanna go get an image of somebody playing baseball or football or basketball or soccer and finding that image and then have it attributed by PowerPoint, that's a peace of mind. <laughs> okay, now on to the presentation, this intro presentation, which is comprised of three parts. I'm gonna talk about the creation phase and the delivery phase and the inspiration phase. This is uh, part one, the creation phase. And one thing I want you to notice is that my slides are image rich and text poor. Now you might say, if they're text poor, how do you communicate ideas? 
that, dear listener, is where you come in. You are going to fill in the gaps. You are going to bring these slides to life. You are going to solve mysteries because you want your slides to be provocative. And as you look through my slides in this presentation, one thing that I, I think that you'll conclude is that my slides are not boring. We're gonna make outstanding slides thanks to the creation phase in part one. Part two is gonna be all about delivery. And let's face it, teaching virtually is different than being in a classroom, period three. It's just different. And so we have to adapt as well. And so what we're shooting for is on-demand content. And we're gonna make our, our, our content, our virtual epic presentation on demand. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I'm pretty tired of Zoom calls where you have to show up at a certain time and there's, there's tons and tons of boxes full of faces, half of them zoning out. We need to adapt. We need to make virtual instruction better. And you know, on-demand program empowers the students to watch when they want. If it's three in the morning, which some of them are awake at that time and they want to do it at that time, that's their prerogative. Or they can do part of it and come back to it. But it's not going to be a sterile thing. When I talk in the delivery in part two, we're going to talk about how to make these presentations incredibly collaborative. And then part three is really important as well. This is the inspiration phase. And I want you to think back to being uh, an intro to education in college and you learned about Bloom's taxonomy and at the top of the pyramid was higher level thinking where you were being challenged to create something. This is what we wanna do with our students with these epic virtual presentations. Challenge them to do higher level thinking and create something awesome. And just a word of warning, there's gonna be a lot of prompts throughout this presentation which challenge you to do the same. And finally, we're gonna unleash some template power. Once you get accustomed to making epic virtual presentations, you're gonna find yourself creating them over and over and over again. I can't wait to get started.